Welcome back to Bits of an Artist's Life. We have an art haul this week and I am so excited about it. It was so fun to edit this week's video. Looking back at the footage and the new art supplies, there's a lot of new stuff in this video. But I wanted to remind you, in case you're new here, everything that I've purchased and that I show in this video will be listed below. There will be a link to it. I'm going to open the supplies, then try out the supplies, and then come back at the end and give my update on all of it. Because I filmed those videos weeks ago and I've had plenty of time to try these supplies out so I can give you a full update. So let's jump into it. Art haul. I am so excited. This is going to be a massive art haul. Basically because I made one art order and then like two days later I made another one. And the tracking said that they were both going to be here today, but only one package arrived. So I feel a little womp womp about that. <sighs> Maybe the other one will arrive this afternoon. I don't know. But I am super excited about both of these orders because everything in these two orders are all new things. Like things I've never tried. <sighs> Those are the best kind of art hauls. I'll take any art haul. I'll take any art package. But new supplies, never been used, never been tried. Those are the best. So we're going to try these things. I'm going to open this box. Let's jump in. Let's jump in. Oh, okay. Oh, this is my second order. Oh, wow. There was going to be really fun stuff in the second order. Okay, where is my first package? Wow. Oh, no. What if it's lost? Okay, maybe it'll be here this afternoon. Okay. Guess I'll just leave the camera set up in case it is. All right, okay, okay, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Ooh. I'm so excited. Okay, sorry, that was probably really odd. Okay, no, okay, let's, we'll go from not as exciting to more exciting. I ended up buying two different fixatives. Now, let me grab this. Hold on. Okay, so this is the fixative that I've already mentioned before and tried and I actually need to buy another bottle of this. I've almost used this up. I really liked it, but I wanted a, oh, oh, okay. I thought I ordered the wrong thing. I wanted a fixative. Wow, that's kind of heavy too. I really would like a travel fixative. Can I just say that? Let me finish the sentence. I wanted a fixative that was just for charcoal. So when I do charcoal, because sometimes I'm having to do multiple layers with this with the charcoal so I thought well maybe a real one that's meant for charcoal will do better and I only have to do like one so this is what I got for that it had good reviews oh crayons I wonder what that means huh. crayon pencils I'll have to read I probably should have done that before I bought it but I did re read the reviews and then I got a pastel oh. yeah oil pastel okay fixative by the brand of the oil pastels that I use but I'm also hoping that these will work on my wax pastels or the oil pastels that are actually really more waxy like my cheap ones so I'm excited about that so at the end of the video I'll get back with you about these because I will have used them enough by the time this video airs in fact I'm going to be using this charcoal one today. I mean, I have a ton of paintings. I, I'm excited about this one. I want this for my sketchbook so I can use my old pastels in my sketchbook and they won't bloppity blop over on another when I'm... Okay. Can we get on to this next? Uh, goodie bag. Wow. forgot about wow I ordered a lot wow 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 okay let me put these in a little bit of order or something oh yeah and then I think in the other order okay hmm. wow okay wow this is interesting okay I'll show you in just a minute basically I ordered a bunch of what are these called acrylic water-based I think they're like markers and I got some of the small ones I thought I got more big than I got small but that's okay let me show you all the colors so the brand is Montana markers and I'm gonna color swatch all of these for you all this is water-based it's also dries matte that's one of the reasons that I liked it gravel that's a good name isn't it oh this is a good name makeup makeup like makeup 
I guess because that's supposed to be like a flesh color. Wow, that was a lot. Okay, let's get these babies opened and test wash them. And you know what would be great is that like after I did this, if my other package was waiting at the front door, that'd be nice. Okay, let's watch these. Look what came today. Guys, yesterday I filmed the unboxing of the package you just saw. Then I was setting up to do the overhead filming of like, you know, doing our color swatches and stuff. And I heard Grady pull in. He had been out on a bike ride that morning. And so I met him at the door to see if he needed any help. And he was bloody from head to toe. He had had a bike wreck. So I quickly like, we cleaned him up, bandaged him, all that stuff. He's fine. It was um, not as bad as another bike wreck he's had in the past, but he was beat up pretty good, so. So I've not done the overhead filming of swatches and all that. So I'll get to do that. Uh, we'll just do all of it because this one came today too. And I'm pretty excited. Brand new, let me remind you, brand new, never before used things, I think mostly in this. So, so let's open it. I've already mentioned how excited I am. All right, let's see what's in here. This is the package though that I said that there was one thing that's back ordered, kind of a, Kind of a big item that was supposed to be in here. But. Oh, the packaging. Oh, it's so funny when you take that out and then it's like, oh, there's not much in here. Oh, I forgot about some of the things. Oh my gosh. Okay. Mm. I love when that happens. Okay, let me just get everything out. Said it before. Oh, don't look. Don't look. Let's not look. Oh, I forgot that. Okay. All right, everything's packed. Don't look, don't look. Let's start with, oh good, this is a little different. Oh, that's not what I thought. Okay, all right, so let me first show you. So I have bought, I do not know how many of these like what I call water brushes. Well, that's what it's called on here too. I have bought in my lifetime. I have bought so many of these and every single one of them, I've given them away. I just do. Every time that I give one away, then it's like the next day. Some situation comes up and I'm like, man, I need that water brush now. This one's a little different. I think I'm gonna like this one, but this is what I was thinking. You know my morning walks I've been taking? I've been thinking it would be nice to have this because then I could just have my little sketchbook and I could even just take one little like pan, watercolor pan, hold on. Ugh. Oh look, even something like this where I've got double and one. And you know, I could have my sketchbook hold this, da, da, da. but this is a little different shape. Hmm, it's a little weird. And this is supposed to be large. That is not very large. Wow. Hmm. Okay. Oh, here, let me show you. I thought it was actually gonna be pretty big. I would have labeled this like small. This is like the size of my small brushes. I've got a friend who, a very detailed artist, like she's not loose like me at all. She's very tight in her painting, does beautiful, beautiful, beautiful work. But that, these are all she uses. I'm like, what? But she loves them. You either love them or you hate them. And so far I've not liked them, but we're gonna give it a go. And if nothing else, they're very, very inexpensive. I mean, how much was this? Mm, it was $7. So I mean, it's a little more expensive than what I thought it was gonna be. If I had to guess, I would have said like three or $4. But anyways, every single time I've given this to somebody, they've really been happy about it. Okay, can I just show you this too? So, you know, the other haul that I just did a few minutes ago for y'all. It's kind of a cute little basket, so they're all like they're ready to test swatch. Okay, sorry, I got distracted. Ooh, all the rest of the things are so exciting, so I don't know what to start first. Okay, we'll just start right here. Okay. <laughs> I like these bags they put these in too because I reuse these. Just looking at all my stuff. I should have left it in the box. <laughs> so exciting. All right, I bought some Posca pins. I've never bought any Posca pins and for some reason I did. So it'll be interesting to test these compared to the other markers that I bought because you, know, you hear people talk about how these like rip the paper, the paper kind of gets all shreddedy, which I've never like been a fan of. So I'm not real sure why I bought these, but I did. So kind of got different colors except for this one. I bet I'm gonna like this big one the best, but this is what I got. I got two kind of small ones. What's they have size? I don't know. <laughs> Let me see if I can read the, where are the glasses when I need them? 
Okay. Ooh, khaki. That's a good name. So khaki. I mean, what is a Posca pen? Is this ink or is this paint? I don't even know if it's Posca. That's what it is. Y'all already know. Y'all be leaving me all kinds of comments what it is. I don't really necessarily. Oh, I got three sizes. Good thinking, Sandy. Good thinking. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The khaki is 3M. Here I got a teal. I mean, what in the world? What is the actual name? Emerald green? That's not what this is. Emerald green? Okay, well, the cap looks full on teal, but this is emerald green. That makes more sense if I'd buy that teal. Mm, that cap. We're gonna see what's truer. Is it emerald green or is it teal? This one is the 5M and then this one, which I have a feeling. Oh, he's squatty and cute. He's just named blue, but this looks like a French ultramarine blue. Okay, he's he's got a nice like shape and feel. So I was thinking about these kinds of things along with my other paint markers for when I'm sketching either on location someplace, but just someplace or my morning walks. Then I got some pencils, colored pencils that I've never gotten before. Some brand, a brand I've kind of been wanting to try. Not a huge color pencil person. Mainly because if I use colored pencils, I'm not one that uses like a whole bunch of colors in like one drawing. I like to pick one color and draw or sketch with. Just not necessarily a colored pencil person, but I keep buying them. I do have, like this is my, oh, sorry. This is my uh, stash of color pencils. I mean, I like the case better than even the pencils, but those, that's my like library, what would we call it, my collection. And those of you know, if you've been following me for a while, I've, the only ones that I've ever found that I've liked are the Faber-Castell Polychromos. They've not won me over to be like a color pencil like a lover, but maybe these will. I got two different ones, and the thing coming in the future that's back ordered are also colored pencils. Wow, I got a lot of colored pencils. <laughs> okay, so I got some luminance. Everybody raves about the luminance. Wow, I got some good colors. Way to go, Sandy, and your color choices. Ooh, wow, one of them's a little shorter than the other. It's like they've been used. Okay. So those were some pretty decent colors there. Slate gray, crimson, aubergine, or something like that. And dark English green. Oh, I wonder if I could say that with an accent. Where's my accent? Where's my London accent? I don't know, it went someplace. Okay, and Payne's Gray. I got a Payne's Gray because everybody raves about Payne's Gray. I don't think I'm a Payne's Gray kind of person, but I got it because I feel like I need to. And then, ooh, I like the feel of this. The set that I'm getting is a set of this, Derwent Drawing. And I never buy sets, especially of like, well, I do buy sets once in a blue moon. But if I buy a set, I usually like to get a big jumbo set. And I did not get a jumbo set, but I liked the colors in this set. So it's a smaller set and it will be coming, but this color was not in it. And I thought, well, I'll just grab one. This is called, this is a good name too, Crag Green. C-R-A-G, Crag. That's nice. So I'm gonna, it's gonna be fun to see like the difference in these and which one I like best. I do, I hope I don't use this and I'm like, oh, I don't like that because then I have a whole set coming. Okay, two more things, two more things left. I picked good colors of these two. Literally, my little bitty sketchbook that I've been using. Let me go there. Okay, you know my little sketchbook like this that I can fit in my hand that I've been taking with me in the mornings for morning walks and doing just sketches that I don't give a, a poop what they look like. It's all about just enjoying the process. And usually what I've been taking is like one marker with me. Now I have a whole range of new stuff to take with me. Just been, you know, doing quick little sketches that, you know, don't need anything. All right, okay. And I'm usually sketching weeds. I love me a good weed. I'm really attracted to weeds. But sometimes I am doing like, um, scenes. If you like these kinds of things, I've been doing a lot of pretty much daily on stories on Instagram, little videos and sharing things like this. So make sure you follow me over there if you're not following me, if you like this kind of stuff. I'm basically trying to make my stories like little mini versions of my YouTube. Helpful and daily life kind of stuff. Basically, I literally, this was the last sketch that I did, I literally only have one page left. And it's not even a real page. It's like the back weird page of this. And I, don't ask me what this is because I have no idea. I've had this sketchbook since 2009 and I have no idea, but I thought I'm gonna use it up. It's one I never finished, but I'm literally done. And just in the nick of time because two more came. Oh, 
I'm excited. So this one, oh, tomorrow's walk is gonna be so fun because I'm gonna have a new sketchbook. I know a lot of people get very intimidated and nervous about a new sketchbook or the first page. It excites me to no end. It just feels like the possibilities and what could be, what is this gonna look like and what's gonna be in it? It just, it makes me so stinking happy. Okay, this is a, basically, did I get the exact same size? Oh yeah, it's like the same size, which is good and about the same thickness because this fits perfect in my hand. So I like to have my pen ready. I usually stick my pen like right here. And then I have my sketchbook and it's open and I'm ready for anything that I see. And I got this fun green color. This color of the sketchbook makes me so happy. I mean, it's just, oh. Ooh, that little flippity thing makes me happy too. That's got a nice texture to it. Wow, it's kind of like a hair rubber band. Wow, oh my gosh. This is like the best green. Do you know what this green says? Take me out and tuck. Let me show you. It says, Oh, it has got a neat little different kind of pocket in the back than usual. Ooh. Okay, I'll show you that in a minute. <laughs> Let's get back to what the screen is saying. It says, take me out into nature and draw in me. I need to be out in nature. Look at the weeds. Okay, no, wait, before we get too excited, let's look at, pull the paper. Oh, the paper's gonna be perfect. Okay, I've learned that I do not like thin paper. This is not super thick. I don't need super thick, high fanciness paper for my, these kinds of morning walk things because these are not meant to be good sketches. It's wonderful if they turn out good, but it's, I mean, I'm usually not even looking at the paper. I'm looking at the weed or whatever as I'm sketching. But this paper, I can already tell, it is going to take some of the paint. Ooh, and it's cream. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh. And it has an orange. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Wow. I mean, in the mornings, that is going to make me so happy to just pick that up and see that little bit of orange with this cream. <laughs> Can you tell that that's cream? And then this little pocket in the back right here, it's clear. So that's kind of interesting. I don't know why that makes me happy, but it does. You know, that would kind of be fun to pick up if I find any little flowers and put them in there. They'd be kind of pressed back there like that. I really like that. Wow. Uh, I love. We'll do with the color swatches in this. I'm really happy. Okay, now let's. I've never had this brand either. Oh, I got my finger stuck. Has 128 pages, acid free. I'm pretty excited. Heavyweight buff drawing paper with a good tooth. I remember reading that and thinking, I don't want any tooth, but it's not. It's it's just the perfect. Man, if I get like stuck in the woods and need something, I could use that as a hair tie. I mean, I just go for a walk down the road. So. It, it, it's going to be good, I hope. I think it's going to be nice. I think it's going to be nice. Mm. Happiness. Okay, this is another brand I've never had. I'm going to take the packaging off so it's not all shiny. So I'm going to show it to you. But this one is square. But I did not get it for the squareness. Even though I may use it as square. I do like square. Maybe I did kind of get it for square. Oh, this has a nice feel too. Oh, that's nice. Okay, wait, let me show it to you before I start. I'm about to start tearing it into it before I even show it y'all. Okay, I've never had this brand. Where did the glasses go? Glasses. Are they on my head? No. Oh, <laughs> right here in front of me. Okay, this is an art creation, four by four, 12 by 12 centimeters, 90 pound paper. What was the poundage of my other paper? I can't find that quickly. Okay, it did get a little bent up. Oh, this is, whoa, this is like not just cream, but like downright yellow paper. Wow. This feels a little bigger. I'm wondering how my hand's gonna hold it. Let's, let's just reenact walking down the road. Sometimes what I do is this. I like put that around my hand so I can really keep it in there. Good, that's gonna be nice. That's not gonna feel too big, I don't think. Why is the cover all tore up? Wow, this is cream. Wow, I don't know if it's gonna show up on the camera. Now it's getting all like bright outside. Ooh, it lays nice and flat. Does my other one lay nice and flat? I'm gonna have to work the other one a little bit, but it will. But this one just, it just, 
open straight on up flat. But I was thinking that this could be, if I wanted to do a square page, that would be nice and fine, but that it would be a nice landscape. Sometimes for me, the like real landscape ones are too landscapey sides, or I don't like the size. It's smooth paper. I think I'm just gonna smear paint like on the front of this so it kind of gets a little messy. Okay, so that was fun, but now it's time to color swatch. I'm anxious to get this one out, but I think mainly because I like the color and that little orange dingly thing. I've got like an explosion of mess. So let me clean up a little and then we'll do this. We've got our pencils. I'm gonna use the first page here and I'm first going to start with the luminance. This is slate gray. Okay, so this basically looks like a pencil. I can get nice and light and then let's see how dark I can get. So the polychromos feels a little smoother and oilier, which they are, and this does feel different, but I think I like it. Let's see how smudgy they are. Not smudgy, good. I'm gonna write loom. For luminance for short. I do like these already though. Okay, I'm pretty happy. This is going to be the paints gray. Oh, these two look beautiful together. This is kind of just a medium pressing. Press down really hard. I like a pencil that I can really press down hard and it not break on me because I kind of get a little pressure happy. Okay, I maybe see what everybody's so excited about with paints gray. That's pretty. Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, man, I am hot diggity excited about going up tomorrow. <laughs> All right, now let's do this color that I'm pretty excited about too. This is the Crimson Aubergine or something, something I can't pronounce. I can tell you right now, these two colors are gonna look pretty together. All right, that's kind of just normal medium pressure, light pressure. And let's see what we can get with some real pressure. Oh, that's pretty. I like the way these feel. There's kind of a drag and scratchiness, but not too much. Oh, yeah, I think I like this. Wow. They're not creating a ton of dust either. I'm not a big fan of like pencil dust, but just this page right here is so pretty. Okay, and then this next one is dark English green. Oh, this is a little more in your face green than what I was hoping for. That's okay, that's fine. It's a little green. Yeah, it's okay. I'm not as thrilled about that one. Just have a nice feel in your hand. I'm really looking forward to taking these out and sketching. Okay, now let's see what this one, which is the Derwent Drawing Crag Green. Let's see what it looks like. I can already tell just by looking at it, it's gonna have a completely different texture. Yeah, it's kind of waxy. Ooh, I like that. Waxy's nice. I really like the feel of waxy and kind of oil-like, but what happens is sometimes I don't like stuff that squishes that you have to either like spray a fixative or that's gonna squish. But I'm gonna just tell you right now, one, this green is darker than what I thought it was gonna be. And it's really nice. It's not screaming your face. Oh, I love this, wow. Okay, when I press down, it is creating some dust. Which that's fine. This feels really nice to write with. Feels a little bit like my Neo Color. I'm not gonna use fixative on this. I mean, one of the problems that I have is because I press so hard a lot of times, it just, you know, squishes. So we'll see how these do with the squishing. Oh, no, that's, that one right there created a lot of dust. Actually, oh, several of these are smudging. That's weird. I wanted to see what, like this color. Like, let's say I did that like as a light background. Try the paint's gray. Oh yeah, see the squishing starts happening. That's what drives me crazy. Let's do this paint's gray and see if if this waxy kind of pencil goes over it. Mm, no, not really. I just kind of wondered. I thought maybe it would. All right, great. I'm definitely going to be taking one of these out tomorrow with this. Very happy. I think I'm going to swatch this in my really large jumbo sketchbook because I think that's where I'm going to be using these most. And so I want to try it on this paper. So I think first let's start with these greens and get an idea of what they look like. Let's see. I think you're supposed to shake them really good and then... And then you're supposed to pump them a little bit. Oh, oh, here it comes. Okay, that's exciting. Ooh, see how that's coming down? Wow, okay. I could tell this is gonna be like neon green. That's not 
too bad of a green. Well, I don't know. It's pretty bright. Oh, wow. This is green too. What I may have to do is buy like some of the red refill or pink and add some of that to these to kind of neutralize them a little bit. Wow, that's the medium and that's pretty dark. And somebody said these do leak in the cap. Whoa, whoops. Ooh, that's nice hunter green. Okay, I really like that. Yeah, that's nice. Wow, that's nice. So there are the three greens. Yay. This one right here is the Sahara Beige. And then this one is the, the one called Makeup. That's hysterical. And it's basically just a darker version of that. I don't know if I'll use those very much. This next one is the Malachite Light. I really like that. That's nice. All right, now let's try two grays. So I basically got like a lighter gray and a darker gray. The first one is called Iron Curtain. And noticing it does tear the paper up just a little bit if you overwork it. So at least with this sketchbook, I'm gonna have to be, I think, a little careful. I can see some of the paper tearing there, but I think I was just overworking it. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, I like that one too. That's nice. That one was Gravel. What a great name. <laughs> okay, now let's get into the fun colors. Got two kind of colors that look very similar to yellows. Okay, this one looks lighter. That's a fun color. Yeah, I'll definitely use that. That's nice. Oh, man, that's a nice orange too. Wow, I love that. That's a great color. That's a great one. Wow, another good color. That's a nice pink. Yeah, I'm super happy with that. Alrighty. Nice red. Ooh, it's going to be interesting to see if these are bleeding through. Okay, that's like a ultramarine that has zero white added to it. That's nice. We have two of the big ones left, and then I have the Poscas to do. It's going to be interesting to see how different the Poscas are. Okay, let's do these big ones. Okay, as I'm waiting for this thing to come out, because it's taking a while, one of the things that I like about these colors, though some of them are a little brighter than what I would normally use, like in my paintings, my sketchbook, I don't mind going brighter. In paintings, I neutralize things a lot more. That's one of the reasons I like having paint where I can neutralize a color. But in my sketchbook, I don't mind going brighter like this. All right, yeah, that'll be a nice sky blue. Yeah, that's that'll be fine. I think, guys, with just even this color palette that I have right here, I could take these. I'm thinking about like on a hike, or I think I could. Whoa, that one came out fast. Yikes! Wow. Ooh, that's a nice color. Wow. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, happy with that. I think I could create what I was saying. I think I could create a painting with, with even just these. Okay, I'm going to pause the camera, take the packaging off of these things, and we'll try the Poscas. Okay, so here are my Poscas. The khaki, I think this one's called khaki. Yep, the khaki, emerald green, just blue. So let's take the tops off these and see what the nibs look like. Oh no, why is that? Oh boy, I feel like, yikes. Okay, that's a nice nib selection. Yeah, that's nice. I think if I had to just pick two, I would go with these maybe. Let's test them out. Oh, that's like ultra fine. Hmm. Ooh, that's a nice green though. Okay, very happy about that. Okay, remember this is the one that's called emerald green, but let's see if the lid or the name is more accurate because this looks straight up teal. Oh, it's teal. It's not emerald green. Hmm. That's teal. I don't use teal very often, but it looks good with all of this. Right now, I'm not really feeling a difference between the two or the colors, like maybe the nibs a little bit. I like, like this is the big one for the Posca, and I, I like the big fat nib for, if I'm gonna have big, like give me big. I mean, this isn't too much of a difference of size right here, and I'm not feeling like this one's gonna be a big difference either. Ooh, okay, wow, I'm so glad this is a different blue than that. This looks more purpley now. Okay, this gives me some good coverage. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, I'm gonna really enjoy having this range. This is, this is good. Okay, that surprised me. Yeah, I like that. And it's drying fast. I do like that it's drying nice and fast. Let's also take a look at the other side and see how much it bled through. None of that bled through. Awesome. Okay, wow, that's good to know. Now let's do a real sketch.
So here's where I am with just the paint markers. I am finding that I like with the small ones to just like push it down and get a blob or even do a mark like this and then put my finger in it. I'm really enjoying using it kind of as finger paints. So like this, I just put some red down and then like, you know, like that blue right there, just kind of smush it around. That's kind of nice. And then I can also blend colors a little like that too. Think because I really, really, really wanted to use multiple mediums in this and I'm not loving how this is turning out. I feel like I'm doing it kind of quick because I'm tired. I just had a speaking engagement, but I felt like I really wanted to play. So now I'm going to use my Karen Dash Neo Color Water Soluble. I think I'm going to use some of these on top of this. And I'm just going to sit down. I'm tired and we'll see what happens. Okay, I also decided to get out some of my cheaper bowl pastels because I forgot. Now I have some fixative to be trying, so I'm going to just play. Here's my finished page. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, I'm not in love with it, but it was fun to do. It was a ton of fun. I really struggle with multimedia stuff and layering. It's just not my way of working, but I do enjoy playing with that sometimes. It, it was super fun. So yeah, there it is, guys. Let's first get into the paint marker. Let me tell you what I think about them. So if you remember, I, I got two different brands, the Montana and the Posca. I will not be buying the Montana again. They leak big time. Let's see if you can even see this. If you can see, look at the cap here and look at all the liquid. Look at all that liquid in there. And I have these sitting up. I have them in this. Not even in a, like if they were in a bag and I was out going someplace, that would be leaking. Quality of the paint's great. The nibs are great, but we can't be leaking. Hello. No, 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 no on the leaking. Not for me. I do think overall, I do like the Posca pens. So I'm happy with them. I'm glad I've got them in my stash of supplies, but I'm definitely liking the Posca the best. And my all time favorite is still this khaki and this smaller nib, which kind of surprises me because I would think that I would usually like a larger nib. But I think it's because I'm using them in my smaller sketchbooks and just for sketching and the color is just Perfecto. What is next? Well, I've got these in my hand, so let's talk about these. I love both of these, and I kind of surprised myself with liking the landscape uh, format. really like it for like a bunch of different scenarios, not only like landscape, but even when I'm just in the doctor's office. If I'm waiting for quite a while, I'm like, I'll just start sketching and the doctor will definitely come in. But I will be repurchasing both of these. Both of these winners. I like both of the papers. Yeah, I like both of these. So let's do the fixatives. Wait, let me grab this one. This is still my favorite, that one. And I do still have to put three or four coats of this one, but guys, yeah, I definitely will not be repurchasing this one for pencils and charcoal, probably because I'll never even finish the bottle because I just, I don't, I have been putting like coats and coats and coats and coats. Mm, I like it. This one for the oil pastels. I have not been working in my real buttery oil pastels in quite a while. I did do like a test in my sketchbook. Let's go get that. Forgot about this. I did a test to show you guys. Okay, this has work, been working pretty good. These, This is done with my really smushy Cinele oil pastels. This is the brand and this is what this is made for. I can tell there's probably some areas I didn't spray very well on here. Wow, okay. Yeah, there's some areas I probably didn't get as well, but as I'm feeling this, that worked really well. Hmm. I, I mean, it doesn't surprise me that I didn't get like a good even coat because I just, I'm not like a perfectionist with that. This is at the very front of this 
big sketchbook. And so I've been working, which means that I've been pressing on those pages. And you can see a little bit of smoosh over. Technical term there, smoosh over. Basically over here, there's a little smoosh smooshage. You can tell with oil pastels because they're so smushy and buttery. This is like really dry. Actually, I touch it though and there's like a dry film. This makes me think, oh, I can start working in my sketchbook more with those. Well, probably gonna do that today. Okay, so uh, let's update this. I'll be using this more. I'm gonna get those out today. I'm pretty excited. I'm glad we had this chat. Let's also talk about the pencils. In a future art haul, you'll be seeing I purchased more of these Derwent drawing pencils. These are the shebang. I love these. My Kieran Dash are not getting used very much because I just keep reaching for these and only have a few of these, but I really like them. Both good pencils, but for me, the Derwent drawing wins. All right, guys, that is it for this week. I hope you enjoyed it because I really enjoyed filming it, trying all this stuff, and sharing it with you guys. Let me know below if you've tried any of those things, if you like any of them, if you're going to purchase any of them, and don't forget, I have links below to everything. So fun. All right, I'll see you back here next week, guys.